Hello everyone, welcome to Score High. In our current affairs analysis series, today we will be discussing about declining fertility and demographic deficit. Now we will be discussing this topic in depth. So, a concerted policy to harness the demographic dividend is the need of the hour. Now we will be discussing this topic. So, let's see what is demographic dividend first. So, demographic dividend refers to the growth in an economy that is the result of a change in the age structure of a country's population. The demographic transition has two components, that of fertility and mortality transition. However, it is fertility transition that plays a decisive, decisive role in determining the demographic dividend of any population. The change in age structure is typically brought on by a decline in fertility and mortality rates. The demographic dividend comes as there is an increase in the working population's productivity which boosts per capita income. The first period for a demographic dividend can last for 50 or more years and then the second period can last indefinitely as an aging population invests in various investment vehicles. So this is all about demographic dividend. Now something about total fertility rate. Total fertility rate is an indicator of the average number of children expected to be born to a woman during her reproductive scan. There has been a steady decline in the TFR and the main driver of the slowing down of the population growth in India in recent decades. So consequently, this has several, po several implications for policy as population growth is set for a slowdown in the coming decades along with an increase in the share of the working age population. Now, while the high fertility states have also recorded a sharp decline in the TFR over time, it has declined to 2.2 per women in the 22 major states in 2017. However, due to the skewed sex ratio, the required replacement level fertility or the effective replacement level fertility is higher than the benchmark of 2.1. Now, what are the reasons for fall in total fertility rate? Increasing mobility, delayed marriage, access to higher education and greater financial independence of women. And for, so for all these reasons, the total fertility rate is declining. Now, what are the trends of TRF? The data from the sample registration system 2017 reveal that several contrasting phenomena are in operation in rural and urban areas with regard to the decline in fertility rates, even though fertility rates fell across all age groups. Across all age groups, fertility in the older age groups has risen over time in urban India, while in the rural areas, the fertility rates in the higher age groups, that is among mothers aged above 35, has fallen. However, the overall trend is that of falling falling female fertility rates. Now this is important. And in the urban areas, fertility has been falling faster than expected. So as of 2017, the TFR of urban India has fallen to 1.7, which is lower than the replacement level. Now what role does education play in total fertility rate? It was found that education too had a role to play with regard to fertility rates among women. Although in gen general, fertility is lower among educated women in urban areas. Fertility rates among women in their 30s are higher um, among the better educated than the less educated women. And this is because better educated women have been able to delay marriage and childbirth while access to better healthcare facilities enables women to have children at a later age. So these are the reasons. Now what is the significance of demographic dividend? First, savings. During the demographic period, personal savings grow and can be used to stimulate economy. In terms of labor supply, more workers are added to the labor force including more women. Human capital. With fewer births, parents are able to allocate more resources per child. So, there will be more resources 
per child leading to better educational and health outcomes economic growth gdp per capita is increased due to a decrease in dependency ratio so these are the significance of demographic dividend in terms of savings labor supply human capital and economic growth now population and demographic dividend in india the population parameters also indicate that the demographic transition in india has not been uniform so the demographic transition in india has not been uniform although the population growth is set for a slowdown an increase in the share of the working age population points to the advantage of the demographic dividend in india this means that the growth rate of the working population is higher than the general population now normally the demographic dividend can last for 40 to 50 years and countries can benefit only if they can use it effectively otherwise the demographic dividend can also turn into a demographic burden now in india as there is a clear divergence in demographic patterns across regions and states the demographic dividend window is available at dip at different times as the age structure structures differ across the states and according to the united nations population fund in southern and western parts the demographic dividend is set to close in 5 years with the aging population whereas in some states it would remain open for 10 to 15 years in the high fertility states of the north the window is yet to open so these are important points thus india has the advantage of a longer span of the demographic dividend due to the difference in the patterns in demographic transition across states now how can we reap benefits of the demographic di dividend the benefit of the demographic dividend can be reaped only if sufficient investments are made for basic infrastructure health educational attainment and skill upgradation of the workforce also creation of sufficient number of suitable jobs to provide employment to the growing workforce is important so this is how we can reap the benefits of the demographic dividend so this was all for this topic for other current affairs updates you can visit our website that is www.scorehigh.com or you can even follow us on instagram our instagram handle is score_high so that's all for today we'll be meeting again with a new topic thank you so much